Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. I think we all noticed that it's getting much cooler as the winter is already with us, especially in the UK. But if you're from the other side of the world where it's currently boiling hot, then check out my video on how to keep your bunnies cool during the hot days. Otherwise, stay with me in this video where I will be covering different ways on how you can keep your bunnies nice and warm inside when the temperature is dropping outside. First and foremost, I really hope that your bunnies are indoors all the time in general, but if you keep them outside in a hutch, please bring them inside and consider free roaming as that's a much better way to make your buns healthy and happy. If they aren't free roamed and you would like to make that change, have a look at my essentials to free roaming video linked above to get you started. Of all domesticated rabbits are actually well adapted to the cold temperatures and can even tolerate as low as 4 degrees Celsius, their fur coat is not as thick as their wild counterparts. Wild rabbits have thicker coats and hence are able to withstand the cold better. They also live in the burrows underground, usually in large groups to keep each other warm. So the simple and probably the most obvious way to keep them warm is to turn your heating on. The ideal temperature for the environment is between 15 to 21 degrees Celsius. I would say that if you feel warm enough in the house, then your bunny definitely feels the same. However, this goes both ways and overdoing it with the heating may actually drive your buns into overheating if the temperature comes close to 30 degrees Celsius. So just try to keep the temperature in that sweet spot between 15 and 21 degrees Celsius. Using a fireplace or an electric heater in the room is fine, but just make sure to keep an eye on that temperature to make sure the room is not getting too hot for your bunnies. I definitely will not recommend keeping them on during the night as you won't have control over that temperature in the room and it is a fire hazard. Rabbits tend to eat more during winter in order to preserve the energy to keep themselves warm. So definitely make sure they have that endless supply of hay and you can also slightly increase the portion of veggies that you give them. Adding just a small handful more of the salad than you usually do can be very beneficial for them in producing and preserving that energy. Again, just don't go overboard with massively increasing the salad portions as we don't want them to gain weight and risk possible diabetes and other disorders. This leads me to the next point. As bunnies do eat more when it's cooler, they will also need to exercise more to burn off that extra energy. So make sure they have plenty of space to run around and do their binkies. Adding some toys to the space that motivate them to move around more such as tunnels can be a great addition. If your bunny starts getting chilly, they might start zooming around the room in order to warm up, so definitely make sure they have enough space to do that. Rabbits regulate the temperature through their ears, and they're usually quite good at it. Providing them with a nice, warm and cozy spot where they can go to when they want to rest is a great way to help them preserve that energy. You can place a thick and insulating blanket in the hidey house or in any spot where they most like to sleep. Choose the blankets that are made out of good insulating materials. The good options are wool, polyester including fleece and cotton. Avoid using heat pads and placing hot water bottles and wheat bags especially in the spots where your bunny is resting as they can get very hot which again can create a risk of overheating in bunnies. Only use those options if you feel like your bunny is very cold and they struggle to warm up themselves. If they do, then normally this is a result of conditions such as gut stasis and they will require veterinary care in this situation. Lastly, it's important to regulate the room temperature by maintaining ventilation so some draft is good. However, if it gets too drafty, this can drastically decrease your bunny's body temperature. In order to minimize the draft in the house, you can use draft excluders on your doors as most of the time air comes in from the gaps between the door. You can also ensure that your windows are properly closed and insulated for the winter to further reduce the drafts. If you would like to learn more about how you can insulate your windows in various ways, I will link a good article in the description box below for you to check out. To end this video, I just wanted to touch on hypothermia in rabbits. Bunnies do not hibernate in the winter months. Hence, if your rabbit appears extremely tired or limp, they are not going into hibernation. They may, however, be suffering from hypothermia. Hypothermia is a serious condition where a rabbit's body temperature falls alarmingly low below the normal temperature. Bunny's normal temperature is between 38.5 to 40 degrees Celsius, so anything below that is considered hypothermic. The signs and symptoms of hypothermia include your bunny being lethargic and not moving much, the ears and paws feeling cold to the touch and you may also notice that they're pale, their lips and gums may also appear pale, they may shiver as well and in advanced stages they might be nearly unconscious which is considered a stupor. 
If you suspect your bunny is hypothermic, take them to the vet straight away, don't wait. The systems may start to shut down in advanced stages of hypothermia and without medical interventions they may die. To stop the temperature from dropping even further, place a hot water bottle or wheat bag in the carrier when rushing them to the vet. You can also use a heat pad but ensure whatever you use that they're not too hot by wrapping them in a towel. The vet will try to warm them up by placing them in a much warmer area with a heat pad. They will also push lukewarm fluid into their system normally already and administer electrolytes to restore their normal body temperature. As I always say, prevention is the best treatment so if you follow these tips on keeping them warm then you shouldn't come into any hypothermic problems. Thank you very much for watching, I hope it was informative and useful for you guys. Keep your bunnies and yourselves nice and toasty this winter. Please comment, like and subscribe, hit that bell to turn the notifications on so you never miss another video and follow us on Instagram at snowythebunny14 for more cute snowball content and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!